Stakeholders have called for effective regulation in the e-commerce space to ensure profitability and sustenance of active players. This from the major thrust of discourse at the unveiling of an e-commerce platform, Okearin Market Hub in Lagos. Details in this report. Coexisting coexisting together with e-commerce. Everybody's comfortable. The Nigeria e-commerce market size is expected to grow from $7.63 billion in 2023 to $13.34 billion by 2028 at a compound annual growth rate of 11.82% during the forecast period. Over the years, the market has experienced significant growth driven by increasing internet penetration, growing smartphone usage and a rising middle class with disposable income. As the industry continues to blossom, there is an increasing need to make available online stores to cater to the demand of its ever-growing market. Despite the expansion and growth of e-commerce transactions in Nigeria, the sector suffers the challenges of comprehensive regulation. It's been tough, but quite essential. Back when we started, getting dispatch to give you a steady rate to use so that you could pass on was new to them. They wanted us to order per, you know, per transaction. Today, it's commonplace. I think the regulators are catching up, right? And this is what happens in most innovative sector areas. If you regulate an industry, you stifle um, the industry. So I think people should just allow, regulators should allow um, businesses to run effectively. What will stand them out is customers' feedback. While new entrants make their way into the e-commerce space regularly, stakeholders believe that a focus on bulk marketing is key. Security of transacting online remains a huge concern, just as the authenticity of products purchased poses a cause of distrust for consumers. What is the way out? We want to do it differently. We want to satisfy bulk customers. We don't want to go uh, on uh, retail, bulk breaking, so to say, we want to sell in bulk. If you, so that we'll be able to pass on the uh, price advantage to our clients, to our customers. So, if you look at the e-commerce space in Nigeria, there is there are no prominent uh, bulk sellers. I think the only problem that we have in Nigeria is just the issue of trust where you buy certain things and then it's a case of things I order versus what I got. Um, um, and then um, you buy certain things. And then another thing that is also a major problem here is the return policy that we also don't have in Nigeria. In e-commerce, what we are talking about is actually what we call the trade tech. Just like we have the agri tech, we have the fintech and all those techs. So the trade tech is gaining its ground in the form of e-commerce here. And one of the things you all see that we've been able to do around this environment is that we've been able to put a lot of security around the platforms where you do trading. With a focus on bulk purchasing, effective regulation, and when the inherent challenges have been nipped in the bud, perhaps there may be a silver lining with the entrance of Okiari Market Hub. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.